All right, guys. Well, we are fooling with the ultimate shop truck once again. We got our big bumper on here. I think y'all may uh, be seeing that video shortly. Uh, the heart of the beast is giving us trouble. So this truck got an injector cup job and a few other little electrical uh, hiccups, and we got it running. And I've been using it around the yard. We don't have insurance and stuff on it yet. We've been working on the bed and all that stuff. And we have a few lighting issues. So she's been cranking up and running good and getting better and better. Because, you know, if you don't get out and drive them, you can't burp the high pressure oil system. So she's been cranking good and all that. Well, she sat for a while while we were pouring concrete for the slab. Sat for a week or so. And then I went to crank her up to move that trailer to bring that welder machine over here and the problem we had was um she fired right up died about three or four seconds in the running cranked her up and she ran real weak and then died and that's it so i scanned it i'm getting a i think it's a 1370 code i'll have to double check that and that code is telling me that there's electronic feedback loop error but when i put live data on the old girl She's getting, um, she's getting no, um, no ICP pressure. So we checked all on a dipstick, we're full up. We're gonna, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna check the, pull a, a Allen head on the reservoir right here. Make sure we're full of oil there. I'm pretty sure we're all good with that. But we're gonna double check the mechanical side of it. This one has, uh, when I got it, the ICP had been swapped and there was some crazy uh, wiring done to the pigtail. So we're going to visit that and see if that's got an issue or whatever. And then we're going to put the scanner back on it and get some more live data and spin her over. So typical, we got a project truck and we're ready to get excited to get some use out of the old girl and she doesn't want to get ready for the dance so that's where we at right now and it's par for the course so we got a, also got a few things to do left on the bed but she's pretty much ready to put insurance on i just have a lighting issue i got to deal with with some boogered up wiring on that and uh of course getting her running would be uh make the driving experience much more efficient so <laughs> Let's get into it, see what we can find out. All right, y'all, like Mill said, we're gonna go ahead and double check the mechanical side of this high pressure oil. And uh, first thing that starts with uh, is checking the reservoir on the top. I got my adjustable Allen key here and we'll give it a go. This is a knuckle buster, this one. And it really doesn't require that much torque when you put it back on. Let's see if we can get it off here. Shoots. She's on that. We'll go ahead and ins inspect our o-ring take a look in there and we are empty bone dry I can see the bottom so that's a known problem uh, when you ain't got no oil in it right guys so next thing we'll do uh, we'll put about a pint or so in this high pressure oil and see if it maintains uh, if it goes down, then we definitely got a, a check valve problem, I'm guessing, uh, or a low pressure oil pump, rather. Alright, y'all, uh, we got our Rotella. It'll take about probably a pint.
about halfway there. All right, Joe, we're gonna go ahead and pull the ICP sensor. Uh, you can get to it with an inch and 16th uh, open end. You just gotta make sure if you got your batteries connected, you don't <laughs> short it out on the alternator. But, give her a little turn. And uh, verify that we got all in the head. a uh, dormant sensor hmm. that might be dry let me get a zip tie make a rhyme anytime okay we in fact have oil but uh, a little bit of air we're gonna go ahead and fill it on up. See if I have enough to do this. And we'll just go until this seeps out here. Kinda go slow on this one. Sixteenths, and it's not very, very tight. Maybe twenty-five foot pounds at that. go ahead and check our passenger side as well just because we had air in the driver's side all right well we've been digging into this truck seeing what's going on and we don't see any obvious signs of electrical stuff i knew we had let me get up here all right so we got we've been digging around on this we don't see any signs of oil leaking in the valley uh the repair to the icp looked pretty good so since we were getting zero pressure on the h pop i wanted to decide whether or not that was an electrical glitch or actual zero pressure so we pulled the allen head screw off of the reservoir and the reservoir was empty so something let that bleed down now there is you can't see it in here but under the alternator down here there's an Allen head screw with a check ball that um, can sometimes get stuck or get trash in it. And that can let that bleed down through the low pressure oil pump. Other than that, this just fills up and overflows and goes down the timing cover to the engine. So, uh, but we found no oil in the reservoir and a little low oil in the oil galleys under the ICP. And we didn't check the other side because the galleys weren't terribly low. So we're going to hook up the scanner and we're going to try and pop her off. We, we bottle fed this, got it full up and we let it sit for an hour or so. It doesn't appear to be going down, 
so we tightened up the cap on the reservoir and we're gonna try her and see if uh, if she'll go and it may be a freak thing and if it happens again we'll have to dig into the the oil passages either that check ball that's behind under the alternator in the top of the uh, timing cover or um, low pressure oil pump or something but I'm hoping it's just a freak thing. So we're gonna hook up the scanner so we can see some numbers and we're gonna spin her over and see what she does. All right guys, uh, see if we can do this before we run out of battery. So up in the blue is RPMs. The next two, a well, manifold gauge pressure is next. And below that, the 0.0, .0 and 0, 0.00 PSIs or the injector control pressure, absolute and not as well whatever anyway, one's that injector control pressure absolute the other one's injector control pressure so one's what it's wanting and one's what it's getting so we're going to spin her over and see if we can generate some some h pop oil pressure right now see what we got and it's coming up You gotta see 520 pounds of pressure before the uh, injector injectors will pulse. And since we already had some um, air in the system, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me, but we're gonna see. So it should build up, and once it clears 500, it should pop. Yeah, it's only getting 250 PSI. So we're gonna check the reservoir and see. I'm just wondering if we got air in the line to the low pressure pump or if something got clogged. All right, we're gonna top off the reservoir one more time see and come back to you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna watch this again, but we're also gonna watch the low pressure oil pressure because we ended up pulling the Allen screw again and topping it off with some fresh oil so we're gonna see what she does so let's get you down here on this and see if our injector control pressures come up they're coming up pressure oil has come up so we're gonna let her run a little bit see if she'll burp herself all right battery is about to go dead so I'm gonna shut it down come back to y'all in a minute well she's been idling here about five ten minutes so we're seeing uh, a little below 500 on uh, Injector control pressure, which should be a little more than that. But I mean, she's sounding perky, but until we ride her down the road, we're not going to get all of the. Um... Yeah, there we go. So we're seeing some 500. We got good oil pressure here. And like I said, throttle response. All right. So I'm going to shut her off and see if she'll start back up. All right, clutch down. Well, we're going to chalk this up to a rogue, uh, I don't know why the damn thing drained, but it did. So we're going to, uh, we're going to just, we're gonna come back to this later if it does it again we'll have to figure out why but i'm thinking it's a freak thing right now so anyway yeah, just keep in mind guys that's one of the ways you know you do injector cups and stuff like that you need to fill those oil galleys up and uh 
you know, definitely feel the H-pop reservoir. The pass, the driver's side, you can feel through the ICP, and the passenger side, there's you know three uh, access caps that go down each galley. Now, ICP is the first one here. Some of you guys are running uh, the crossover under the spider, and if you are, that's an uh, easy access to fill up the oil galleys. You just want to replace as much oil as you can so it doesn't have to wait. Uh, that's why it died earlier because it sucked the reservoir dry before it filled up. And you know, on the on these trucks, the low pressure oil pump was through the oil cooler, through the block, and then to the H pop. There is a line that goes straight to the H pop, but um, you know, it just it wasn't getting the H pop was using the reservoir oil faster than the the truck could put it back once it ran for a minute. Everything kind of burped itself and caught prime. Then uh, she started right up. So anyway, a little quick video just to show you guys what we're working on. We're gonna keep an eye on it. And if it drops again, we're gonna have to get into some mechanicals and see if it's a check ball or a low pressure oil pump or what. Anyhow, hit us up in the comment section. Let us know what you're working on or if you got any questions. And as usual, uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.